pay off on. Oh, oh and Weaver's down. Pulling out of a clinch here. Drops his left hand. Bing, right on the chin. Trying to gather himself. Hard left hand by Briggs. Lewis is hurt. And he comes back with his own left hook. And another... Now, when you have an opponent like Briggs, he's... for which Briggs is going to pay. Well, if you're in New York tonight, you can be proud. You know, this guy's shown, hey, I'm just not a... So he's... The one thing's for sure, this certainly is a great heavyweight title fight. Look at Bruno here, coming up over there, left hook, catches him. A relentless assault here, pouring on the punishment. These are bad moments for Frank Bruno. Right uppercut, and I think Mickey Fair... Tentious incident in the fight. I thought for a moment there, he was stopping that right uppercut. Lewis here, and Bruno is on the verge of going. He won't take a lot more, and this time, it is stopped. That was big. Mason trying to let his hands go. Catches two huge uppercuts. The one time he got the Buster Douglas at the end of the eighth round. And that's going to be perhaps the end of the fight. The counter punch. Stood up here instead of jab and right hand, it was hook and right hand. And you know what? The old saying never follow a punch you around. And Rockman did. Rockman made the fatal mistake. I'm gonna follow you no matter what you did. And he is likely to get more. Bo has a 26 wins, 23 knockouts, nine of those in the first round. Going for double figures tonight. Is that a knockdown? That was a left hook. You cannot be saved by the bell. And then a fight broke out. Incredible conclusion to round number one. Carl Milliken, the referee, they go at it again. There were still several seconds to go. It seemed like a long round. There's the bell, and now some extra work. Oh, a little kickboxing by Elijah Tillery. Bo won't stand for that. Rock Newman, the manager of Riddick Bow, and a tag team comes in, and Elijah Tillery does a... Stand in front. It's exactly what he did in that seventh round. Great round number eight. Great advice, Joe, but I just don't think he has what it takes to get around side, to step left, step right. He just doesn't seem like the fighter that we've seen from the past. Hey, he placed a pretty good right hand there. Remember how he started that sixth round? He scored a knockdown. He's coming forward. Here comes Holyfield, but he gets oh. caught by a short right hand from Riddick Bowe. Oh, let's go. Barely Jeez. listening to the commands of Joe Cortez. It's over. That's, That's over. it. That's it That's is it. over. Bo finished things off. Vander Holyfield's fighting very strong right here with a great combination, but he gets caught with a short right hand there. Bad timing, leaning forward, and Holyfield goes down. You know, his corner said, don't stand in front. Don't he, walk right in. He's exactly right what he did. It's a short right hand. Very tough to see here. But Vander Holyfield kind of leans in and gets caught with a little short right hand. Holyfield almost can't help himself. There, there was is. the punch. He gets on the attack. He has some. I'd want to try to take a round off here. Gil, just run, stay away from him, hold, not engage him if he can get away. 
Where did all of Bo's skill and polish and ring intelligence go, Gil? Maybe it went with that good living. Well, in part, it's because of the nature of the opponents he's been fighting. That may be it. Will this be enough? There's a count going. not gonna make it who can really compete with him so that he can train in that way i think he's gone into these last three fights thinking he didn't have an opponent who was truly able to compete with him well i, I felt that bo was in great shape for this fight I, they told him how important the fight was but who knows what goes on in a fight is mine and we're taking repeated looks here at uh, the last of Herbie Hyde's many trips to the canvas. And finally for this one, Hyde kept the left knee on the canvas and simply declined to get up, which was wise. There wasn't much more he could do. in the first round in his career and we're underway Savarese with a couple of jabs to start out Mike Tyson much shorter and down goes Savarese first punch of the fight a left hook by Tyson a powerful left hand and Savarese is losing just like that and Tyson goes in to finish off Savarese and he's going to Lou Savarese has had it Mike oh, Tyson looking right over the referee's shoulder. The referee is doing a terrible job. Gavado, of course, uh, oh, right hand by Tyson. Oh, my. Well, if they can find some fights, then. Left hand almost drove Richardson right through the canvas. He not only knocked him down. Not better when you can't get all punches. Oh, Sit back and watch, but don't blink because you could miss it. A low right from Young. And down goes Mark Young. All right, that's it. I'm here. I'm going to go. Get back. Tyson 5-10, go eight. Oh, a good 6-3. Left hook, good night. What a great shot. There's a mandatory eight. They keep wheeling him out. He keeps knocking him over. Well, that has got to be one of the quick... ...fighter, and then uh, he's gone full-time. He's also taking criminal law courses at Oklahoma State. Right now he backs off from a sharp right uppercut to the body by Tyson. Again, a double right hand to the body and the chin. Down goes Lorenzo Boy. The Shoot. count is five. The count is six. The count is eight. He will not get up. It's over.
Canvas. 23 pound weight oh, advantage. My goodness. And he put it all there. The right to the head, and it's all over. Goodbye. I hope he's not hurt. There's a big left hook from Klitschko, and the second left hook knocks Austin down. And that's the Another left, left hook. hook. Boom. There's the first one. I think Austin's going after that. The second left hook gets into his face. One, two, three, four. I think there's actually a, four. There was five. <laughs> yeah. Well, with a glance. Это комбинация. Auf seine Kosten. Roter linker Haken. Und da kommt der Treffer noch voll durch. Der linke Haken von Vladimir Klitsch. Must be so hard, so painful. Peter's It's corner. I think they're coming to stop it. I think. He's all over the place. This fight has to be stopped. He's done with here. Samuel Peter surely uppercut. champion. Hard right hand by Klitschko, best punch of the round. Another little right hand inside by Vitaly. Hard right hand landed by Klitschko, Lewis holds on. Lewis momentarily stunned by the little left. Big left hand by Klitschko. They trade big right hands, Lewis gets the worst of it. And Lennox Lewis's left eye is beginning to swell. Vitaly Klitschko is roughing Lennox Lewis up as the second round begins to come down the stretch. But as round three arrived, and just as it appeared Vitaly might cruise to an upset victory, momentum dramatically switched. And now Vitaly bleeding by the left eye as well. Big right hand by Lewis. Knocking him down twice in the second round, closing the show with hard, accurate punches. You want to see a heavyweight destroyer? Vitaly Klitschko wants to be your man. He wants to be your man right now. Big right hand lands again. Johnson having trouble fighting back. Down goes Johnson. From the start, establishing his power and ring generalship over his outmatched opponent. But Klitschko lands a big right hand shot. Williams' hands drop. Still a minute to go in the round. Here at ringside, you can hear the thud of Klitschko's punches. Vitaly's got a chance for a first round KO here. Down goes Williams. Vitaly Klitschko is throwing jabs, right hands, uppercuts, body shots, and Ariola is having trouble finding the distance from which to get started. Blood coming now from the nostrils of Chris Ariola. By the middle rounds, Ariola's face was a bloody mess. Vitaly continued imposing his will, nullifying Ariola's best assets, utilizing his own skills to dominate. How long can he go on taking this kind of punishment? After 10 one-sided rounds, Ariola's corner threw in the towel. With the victory, Vitaly Klitschko retained his share of the heavyweight title. And then he tumbles forward to the canvas. Hook sends Lewis sprawling to the canvas. Referee Ruby Goldstein counts to eight before Lewis gets back to his feet. You can see that Lewis is in trouble. He's hurt. Marciano pitching with everything he's got. Back his man 
to the ropes to finish him off. Now watch. A left. Another left crumples Lewis. A blazing right. And Lewis sails through the ropes. Matthews is down. Two lightning fast left hooks. It plainly is intent on staying away now. Be careful. That's the right hand, Walker. Bewildered, dazed, and there he goes once more and bounced up the bike. 